Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jackson and I want to talk to you again about a very real initiative that's going to be on the ballot in, in Nevada. So while I am 100% pro-life, um, there is going to be a ballot proposal um, on the Nevada ballot. It's called Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom. And I want to tell you that the Democrats are lying to you. They're using this really to get to the extremes and to get out the vote. So let me tell you about the difference between what we currently have and what the Democrats are proposing here in Nevada. In Nevada, abortion was became, it became legalized. It's a constitutional amendment in 1990. In that amendment, um, Nevada says that a woman, any person in Nevada who is pregnant has the legal right to have an abortion within the first 24 weeks of pregnancy. You do not need to be a Nevada resident to receive abortion care in the state. So 24 weeks, we're talking about a child who is six, you're six months along with that baby. That baby, um, definitely you've been feeling it move for about almost two months. Um, you are distended on your belly. You know, it, it's definitely a time where that child, if it was born nowadays with modern medicine, has a pretty good chance of surviving. Under this new proposal, it says that all individuals shall have a fundamental right to abortion through all nine months of the pregnancy. Imagine nine months. Under the current law, abortions are, perf are performed by an approved physician at an approved medical facility. If a child, um, excuse me, if a woman needs to, because of health issues, have an abortion after 24 weeks, they'll consider it because it's for the life of the mother, for example. Whereas this new one says, there doesn't have to be a reason, you can abort that baby all the way through birth. Under the old law, the current law, an abortion has to be um, done by a medical physician at a medical facility. They um, consider that a safe abortion. Now, it's not very safe for the baby, but they consider it a safe abortion. If a child is born alive, our current amendment says that if the baby is alive, all efforts to preserve the life and the health of the infant must be performed. Under this new amendment, where Democrats say that they're for women and women's safety and women's health, abortions can be performed or administered by a qualified health care professional. So who is a qualified health care professional? Well, right off of the Nevada Secretary of State office, that's defined. A qualified health care professional is a licensed clinical alcohol and drug counselor, a physician or physician assistant, a licensed nurse, a licensed psychologist, a marriage family therapist, a licensed clinical professional counselor, a licensed social worker, a licensed dietitian, or a registered pharmacist. Does that sound like that's safe and healthy for the woman? I mean, I grew up in the 60s and it reminds me of the coat hanger. Under the new law, there it's not really addressed as to if a child is born um, alive, other than it does say that you do not have to care for the child, you can just put the child aside. In other words, you can put the child in the other room and let the child just die or worse. So I, I feel so strongly about this amendment. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't matter if it's under the old law or the, or the new law that they're trying to pass. 
a woman miscarrying an ectopic pregnancy, those things aren't considered abortion. They've never been defined as abortion. Um, don't get that confused with this argument. But don't believe what the Democrats are telling you. A constitutional amendment is very, very difficult to remove. It takes either two thirds of the legislation. Can you imagine two thirds of the so-called Republicans that are gonna take abortions away from women? Two thirds of them having control of the house? That's never happened in Nevada ever in the history of Nevada. Or it takes two votes just like this proposal that the Democrats are trying to pass with this abortion amendment being able to abort a child all the way through birth. I feel passionate about this. I hope that you will go out and talk to all of your friends and family and help people understand this is not anything to do with our rights being taken away. This has to do with plain old being able to abort a child all the way until the time that they are born. And that's just wrong. Thanks for listening.